Hey everyone, I'm Samantha and this is my Beagle Molly. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a dog bandana without sewing. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is you are gonna want a cloth tape measure and you're just gonna measure around your dog's neck right about where their collar would sit. So Molly's neck is 13 inches and I'm gonna keep that measurement in mind as I go to get started making my dog bandana. You're going to need a few supplies to make your dog bandana. First of all, the cloth that you're going to use. I'm actually making this bandana for a family photo shoot and we have kind of a rustic theme. We're all wearing um, like tan and brown colors. So uh, I chose this material to work with. You're also gonna need something to mark where you're going to cut. I'm just using a pen. Uh, again, your fabric tape measure. You've already used that hopefully to uh, measure your dog's neck some shears, and a, a very long straight edge. So the first thing you did was measure your dog's neck. Um, if you remember, Molly's was 13 inches. So I'm going to add a couple of inches on, on either side of the bandana so that I can tie it. So 13, I'm gonna add four inches on, so I'm at 17 inches for the width of my bandana where it ties around Molly's neck. Now I also have, you will see, uh, my fabric folded in half. So I'm only going to do half of that measurement if that makes sense. So half of 17 is eight and a half inches. So I want to measure, I'll do it the other way so it'll make sense for you guys. I'm gonna measure eight and a half inches out and make a mark. Now your bandana is a triangle shape. So think about how far you want it to go down on your dog's neck. You don't want it dragging on the ground. So if you have a smaller breed like Molly, it's probably only gonna go down about eight inches. Um, if you have a larger breed, you know, it may hang down uh, one foot, maybe, you know, 14, 16 inches. Um, and you can measure your dog's neck if you want something precise. I am just going to, I think I'll go with 10 inches actually, just to make it hang down a little more on Molly. So I'm gonna mark 10 inches. Now I'm gonna use my straight edge and from one mark to, and from one mark here at 10 inches over here to my eight and a half. Just gonna draw a line dark enough so I can see it when I'm cutting. And then you're going to cut. Now I've cut out my bandana and moved the extra fabric. This is exactly what a bandana is. It's basically just a triangle of fabric. Now, if you wanted to, you could make a two-ply bandana. Um, and what you would do then, I had my fabric folded in half. Instead of measuring half the length, you could measure the full length and cut a triangle the full length, and then you would have a, a two-ply bandana, so it would have the material on the front and the back. Um, I didn't do that. Again, we're just using this bandana for a photo shoot. Molly might wear it a few other times. So I'm not really worried about the life of the bandana, um, but this will, these edges will fray over time. So if you're looking for something that's gonna be a long-term wear, what you wanna do is add uh, a, about an inch extra on every measurement. So you're gonna have about an inch of fabric extra, and what you'll do is just fold over the hem about a half an inch. If you're uh, a sewer, you can sew that hem. If not, you can grab some hemming tape or hemming glue at um, pretty much any craft store has that, and you can just fold the hem over and then secure it with the tape or the glue, and that will prevent fraying. Um, and you can do that on every edge, even the, the long edge there. You just wanna make sure that you measure the extra fabric to have the extra to do that hem. Um, so keep that in mind if that's something you're interested in. This is Molly wearing her new bandana. Now I have just tied 
uh, the ends. As I mentioned, I left those a little long, so I tied those around. The other thing you can do, and I do this sometimes if I uh, forget and cut the ends a little too short, you can just use a hair tie uh, to keep those ends together. That works just as well. Uh, you can see the length looks great on Molly, so I'm really happy with this. Um, again, this is the one ply bandana. You can do the two um, if you'd prefer, especially if your dog's gonna wear it a lot. I would probably recommend making it a little bit thicker. Um, and I didn't do the hems as, either, um, so over time this will fray, but as I mentioned, this is for a family photo shoot, so Molly's only gonna wear it once. Um, for that and then maybe a couple of times as long as you know it holds up but um, this is great I'm really pleased with it if you guys have any other questions about how to make a dog bandana feel free to email me thanks for watching this video guide